It is the shout and enthusiastic wave from across the street to a friend that you haven't seen in years. It is the warm smile and sparkle in the eye of the former professor as you introduce your family to the person who changed the course of your life forever. It is the tradition of gathering to celebrate the best attended family holiday of the year. Or the toast to days gone by that ends up being joined by friends and strangers alike in downtown Brookings. These moments, and so many like them, have become how we celebrate homecoming. These moments recall the laughter and cherished memories of your collegiate experience. These moments manage to be the most fitting way to sum up your love for South Dakota State. These brief interactions and future memories mark just one day of the year, but somehow cover everything about a Jackrabbits experience. Hobo Day looks different this year. We're not all together, but the spirit lives on. And someday again, we will hear those drums march down Madari, feel the crisp morning air, see the falling leaves, and we will remember why we come back to this place year after year. Happy Hobo Day, Jackrabbits. I didn't play college football, so I got to be part of the entire Hobo Day. We call it week now, but the entire Hobo Day. Now I've got just one thing I'm focused on, and that's the game, so huge change. Well, it's my favorite memory. Uh, we were playing St. Cloud. We won on the last play of the game, Hail Mary pass, but the best part of it was I was kneeling on the sidelines trying to soak it in, and my brother jumped the railing and tackled me and hugged me on the field, so it was really special. For me, I get here early, and work through some blockades and stuff because of the parade and stuff. And I just like to sit in my office and, and know that it's gonna be a really, really special day. I think people come back for homecoming, for Hobo Day because they love their experience. I love South Dakota State. I love tradition. And so to me, it's love. I think the importance of a homecoming tradition is that it builds community across generations. It gives uh, alumni and students a chance to have a common experience, and I think that's really important. And my favorite Hobo Day event is the parade. I, I think it is just absolutely unique. I especially love all the high school bands. Our sons marched in many of the parades as part of the Brookings High School bands and then some other floats. So uh, the parade was always the, the high point for us. The university doubled in size from when I was a freshman to when I came back, but that jackrabbit spirit is still here and uh, very much alive. I think my favorite Hobo Day memory is riding on the Students Association float last year. I had a really great morning where I had to spend time with all of my friends. We put the float all together. And then as we were going through the parade, it was so energizing to see everyone in the community and so many alumni and my friends and wave to everyone and say hello and see everyone be so excited about SDSU and be so excited about Brookings. And seeing everyone reflect also on their own SDSU experiences is a lot of fun because we have such a family right here in Brookings. This year's tagline, Rooted at the Rails, to me means that here at SDSU, we are rooted in journey. Whether you're a student, and even if you're an alumni, or you're a family member or a community member, we're also rooted in the same journey. And so for me, being rooted at the rails means that we're journeying together. My one word for Hobo Day, I think, is maybe not one word, but two words, and that's coming together because it brings people together from all across the state, from all across the country. It's something that really brings our campus together in some fun and unique ways. So I would say coming together. My favorite part of Hobo Day is really all about Bum a Meal. I love to invite students into our home and have dinner with them, share memories, create new memories, and just, just have fun conversation and get to know them. That's probably my favorite time. Embrace Hobo Day. Embrace 
homecoming. It's such a special tradition. It's an important tradition on any campus. And so I would say, dive into the experiences. Don't let it pass you by. Yes, yes, we want you to do well in your classes, so keep studying, but you can go ahead and, and indulge in these events. And it's a, it's a part of creating a holistic, healthy, and, and balanced experience here at SDSU. I am a sucker for parades, so my favorite part of Hobo Day is, is going out and, and seeing, um, seeing the crowds come together, seeing students that are current students, whether they're first semester or whether we have alumni who are coming back. There's a lot of energy there and a lot of creativity that's demonstrated and we're all there. Uh, we're having, we're sharing a connection. One of South Dakota's greatest traditions, the pride of the Dakotas. The pride is back. is a unique homecoming experience. There are unique activities involved in it. There's an opportunity to connect to other people and celebrate uh, SDSU in a different way. And so I would say, make sure that you find a way to connect with other people and celebrate some of those traditions. So in the future, when we have a parade and we have some of those more traditional things, you have this other memory that kind of stands out. Don't let, just because we aren't having, you know, kind of a traditional Hobo Day, don't let that cheat you out of the experience of Hobo Day and what it means to SDSU and what it should mean to you as a student. If you're in my job, homecoming is very important. It brings people back and reminds them what they love about this place. Uh, it connects them back to place and to one another. And uh, we try to figure out ways to make that happen uh, throughout the year at the Alumni Association. But really, there's no substitute um, for a strong homecoming. And we're very fortunate to have that at SDSU. So it's just one of those things, you just the anticipation of Hobo Day and who you're going to see, people you're gonna run into and uh, try to put together plans for it. Um, again, just very much intentional about sort of, you know, how you're gonna make the most of it, but you really do mark it on your calendar in terms of that's when I'm gonna be back. I think the best scene uh, that, that I've ever, you know, in terms of on campus is Hobo Day, when you're standing there and you see the pride marching up Madeira Avenue, you see the Campanile, the leaves are usually spectacular with the fall colors. I mean, I think that is probably, kind of gives me, gives me chills. To me, that's probably the thing about Hobo Day, that just sort of, that's the, the one picture I, I have now. That's where I view it now, make my way downtown later, but that's, I always want to be there when the pride is coming past the Campanile, and just the spectacular colors of fall is, there's nothing like it. Hi, my name is Kylie Donnelly. I am a senior interdisciplinary studies major from Elk Point, South Dakota, and I am this year's Hobo Day Grand Puba. Fewer than 75 students before me have served as either Puba or chair for this incredibly unique tradition here at SCSU. That was not lost on me last November 21st when I was selected to serve as Grand Puba. From that day on, there hasn't been a moment that I wasn't dreaming about or envisioning what the 108th Hobo Day celebration would look like. Seven months ago, our world turned upside down. Eventually, it became clear 
that the traditional Hobo Day was not going to be able to happen this year. The moment that we informed the committee that the parade had to be canceled is a moment I will never forget. In the weeks after that were some of the most trying ones I faced emotionally. It didn't seem real that this could truly be the reality of Hobo Day 2020. The initial shock began to fade. We started to look forward, focus on what we could do and less of what we couldn't. I didn't sign up for COVID, but I did sign up to be Grand Puba and the leadership responsibilities tied to that remain the same. The Pride won't do its annual pre-parade performance this year. Madari Avenue will not be lined up shoulder to shoulder watching the parade and floats and other student entries will not be going through the nearly mile and a half route through the city. Although those things are missing, one thing remains the same, and that is the spirit and state of mind of Hobo Day. Thanks to the 2020 Hobo Day Committee and the 17 student leaders on that committee, the legacy of Hobo Day will carry on. So I have just one thing left to say.